Okay. What is up guys, it's a wanted turtle and today we're doing another Pokemon video. We are doing a mail day uh, Just to go over some of the stuff that we picked up recently that is not sealed collection uh, or sealed stuff We'll go over that in a different video um, But yeah, we actually have Some PSA cards to show off we have a new playmat and we have an we even have a Funko Pop uh, that we recently acquired and uh, so let's get into it. We're actually going to start with this new playmat. Only took three tries. Okay, let's start off with this new playmat. So, um, actually can't, it's hard to show, but one couple of cool things is, here's the picture real quick. So this is from the, I can't remember, maybe Osaka... Uh, but essentially one of the Pokemon centers had an event and for this commemorating the Sakura Blossom Festival So I thought this was really cool pretty cool art. It does come with um, some promos that uh, uh, We recently picked up too and uh, let me just see if I can find those. Okay, so here it is. So this is the um, The card that kind of goes with it and I believe this actually one is called the tea ceremony um, Yeah, I feel like I'd say this a lot, but uh the Japanese side of things has so many cool promos and like English doesn't even compare uh, so I, and this shows that it was another for a Pokemon Center um, can't really tell which which Pokemon Center uh, but yeah very cool promo and it, so that's to go with this playmat and a couple things I've observed right away is the playmat is very thin and much smaller uh, so maybe it's more of a collector's piece than a like sturdy playmat uh, which is fine. However, it's a little difficult to open. There we go. I, I, I was very hesitant to actually open this. Um, however, I doubt the playmats make great collector pieces. Uh, so here's a top view. It's very cool. A lot of detail compared to like some of the more custom ones. Okay, so it is a Kyoto. Pokemon Center. So we got Slowking, Totodile, Cyndaquil, Chikorita. Is that Blossom? A couple Pikachus doing the tea ceremony. Pichu, Meryl. Uh, we got Slowpoke, Meowth, Magikarp. Very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the background, a lot of legendary stuff. So very happy with that. Maybe we'll use this for a little bit. Um, and then that's the card to go with it. For as far as the Funko Pop, we have a Bulbasaur Funko Pop. Um, so the, I think the only previous Pokemon I believe was a Pikachu, but I, have, I don't have that one. And one thing is like, um, I guess a lot, most Pops, like they kind of have you can kind of look at it and feel like they have kind of a blank stare, but I feel like this is very much so for these Pokemon ones. I feel like here, this kind of illustrates, I don't know, this Bulbasaur feels just very derpy. Um, and I do have two, so I'm very tempted to open one, but the collector side of me feels like, oh no, he has to stay in his box. Um, but, so we do have a Bulbasaur. And then we have 12 PSA cards. So all of these are vintage cards. Uh, I think from 2002 or 2003 or earlier. And a lot of these are really great pickups. Um, and actually in this same purchase, we got a couple, few magic cards and a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh as well. So we'll do those in a different opening or a different mail day. And so let's start with, let's cover up the, eh, I'm not sure if we need to cover up the score, but so this is from Expedition and it is a PSA 9. So it is a mint card. Um, the Expedition, especially the starters, uh, I feel like the art is really cool. This this Venusaur, I just like how he has the Pokeball. Um, imagine if this was like a wild Venusaur and then you try to catch it. I could just imagine like, uh, like I don't know, deflecting, basically avoiding the Pokeball and then just like stepping on it's like, oh, I, I have something that's yours and he's just, I don't know, you just feel very scared of him. Uh, so very cool card. 
expedition and so along in that similar vein is this next one we have the blastoise expedition and once again a mint nine and so this is a very old set and this was after after i stopped collecting as a kid uh so it's been it's been difficult to pick up a lot of these cards that are filling the gaps in my collection uh but i love this art as well um I feel like he's just kind of like well not that he hides very well but he's just like lurking on the water reminds me of like an alligator uh kind of like it's hard to see him uh so very cool art both of those i really just really appreciate the art on those and let's see what we have next we have a dark charizard psa 9 um such a cool card this is the second charizard in english um and uh yeah i feel like it has such a cool art he just looks that is a if those are like a rocket Charizard that, you know, like evil Charizard. I feel like they captured that really well in this art. So very cool there. Unlimited PSA 9 Dark Charizard. And I believe this one is from Bayset. We can't have a uh, PSA video without featuring a Charizard at all, a base Charizard. So this one's only PSA 7. Um, so not the best grade, but still like base Charizard is a base Charizard. So always happy to pick those up. And um, so a while back, we kind of showed that they had some CD promos early in the Japanese set. And we kept, we got the Venusaur and the Blastoise in PSA 10. However, we have yet to, or we finally got the Charizard. So this one is a Gem Mint 10. So this is the CD promo all the way back from 1998. And actually, we picked up two of them. Uh, so I was playing it safe. There was like two of them, and this was the last one I needed for all three. Uh, so I was like, all right, I'll probably get one of these, and then I ended up getting both. So very happy with that pickup, and we're just going to keep ramping up. And next we have, oh my gosh, a legendary collection Charizard PSA 9. This is like the birth of reverse um, reverse hollow. And oh man, did they do it big in Legendary Collection. Um, this card is just so cool. And there's like so much uh, shine and so much there that I, these are, I have to imagine they're very difficult to pick up raw and then get graded after, or especially at this point. Um, so really happy with that. I, I imagine, I have to imagine that PSA 10s go for like thousands. Uh, such a cool card. Really happy with that pickup. And uh, man, how do we, how are we going to beat that? Let's see. Ooh, okay. Going almost as vintage as it gets. This is the Shadowless Blastoise PSA 9. Uh, so maybe like a year ago, I finished my first PSA or Shadowless PSA set. And like we were all over the place on the grades. Like I didn't care if it was a 4, 6, 7. Um, as long as I could get all the 16 hollows. And now we're going, all right, you know what? We could do a little bit better. Uh, let's get that PSA 9 Shadowless. And then like the tens, like once again, you're looking at thousands for some of the cards. So very happy with this PSA 9 Shadowless Blastoise. And just to pick up right off that, like, yeah, let's work on a PSA 9 Shadowless set. So here we have the Gyarados. Very cool. PSA 9 once again. I can't remember. I think Gyarados, was Gyarados in one of the, um, the decks, so... I think I feel like some of them are easier than others based on that. And then Nido King as well. So getting closer, a couple, we uh, got a few steps closer to finishing a Shadowless PSA 9 base set. And we got two cards left. How can we keep leveling up from there? We have a Polyrath. So uh, I guess this one's not leveling up. This is just kind of going by the order of the cards. Um, so yeah, four steps closer to that PSA 9. Um, Shadowless sets and for our last one another thing that I'm very slowly working on uh, very difficult to pull this one off is the PSA 10 base set so uh, the the step closer that we are is as far as the Venusaur goes so gem mint 10 very difficult to grade these actually um, uh, I should have went through like some of the nines like sometimes it's just a little nick on the corner and that's probably what gave it nine and sometimes like there, there is nothing at all, but it is off center. Then that downgrades it from a 10 to a 9. So 10 is very difficult to get. Uh, I feel like even if you had a base box and you opened it, like those 
those aren't guaranteed to be tens by any stretch. Um, so very happy with this. Slowly, slowly putting together a PSA 10 collection, and that Charizard is going to be. Again, we're, we're looking at the uh, in the thou like over a thousand dollars for that single card. So um, there we have it. That's our 12 PSA cards that we recently acquired, and of course we can't end our video without another pack of Burning Shadows. And uh, so one one card that we didn't feature in this uh, PSA thing was a Rainbow Charizard, and uh, maybe. Um, we can do some prep work for that by pulling one right now. Wouldn't that be amazing? All right, let's see. We got a water energy, escape rope, soul rock, Rabambi, Oddish, Dabbing Duskull, Morlul, Caterpie, Bean, uh, Hecky Sack Merrill, a mud sail is a reverse. And then the terrifying fish that is Bruxious is our regular rare. So not a very great, not a very good pack opening, but still a awesome video. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, very happy with this play mat. Um, this Wobblesaur is kind of weird and some awesome PSA cards to add to the collection. Um, so, and stay tuned for the uh, next part of where we go over the rest of my PSA collection. Uh, it's kind of, it'll be kind of randomly ordered, but there's a lot of good stuff there. And so, um, as always guys, if you did enjoy this content, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And um, yeah, let, let me know what your own thoughts are about PSA are. Uh, do you grade your own cards? You just kind of, as of right now, I kind of just purchased already graded cards. Uh, however, I do have a growing collection of raw cards that I do want to get graded. Uh, so definitely looking to start that endeavor very soon. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. Uh, but other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for to everyone thanks for all the support this channel has received um it's been it's been a blast to create this content for you guys and uh, i look forward to continue to do that in the future and as always thanks for watching i'm a wanda turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace